Welcome to Kisame, Visions of Heaven on Earth, an exhibition featuring photographs of ceiling paintings from Bohol colonial churches. The first version of the Kisame exhibition, subtitled Touching Heaven, was inaugurated at the St. Peter the Apostle Parish Church in Lobok, Bohol on May 13, 2006, the Memorial of Our Lady of Fatima. With the support of the Filipino Heritage Festival, the Diocese of Bohol highlighted the ceiling murals found in their colonial churches. The exhibition emphasized the conditions that endangered these sacred murals to advocate shared action for their scientific conservation. Part of the plan of the FHFI was to bring the photography exhibition to Ayala Museum in May 2008 as part of the annual celebration of the National Heritage Month. Within a contemporary museum setting, it was clear that a new exhibition design philosophy and curatorial direction were needed. The Ayala Museum exhibition was curated by Father Milan Ted Toralpa with Kenneth Esquera and designed for viewers to experience a sensorial and cognitive encounter and understanding of the sublime vision of heaven on earth. In the real world, there are many ways to represent and recreate an experience. One transcendent way is through art and its many typologies. The exhibition begins at the museum lobby, where, in front of two large canvases showing the church facade of the Nuestra Señora de la Luz Parish Church in Loon and the door of the Santo Niño Parish Church in Cortes, this encounter with God's presence, or Shekinah, begins. Imitating the church plaza, this is the first transitional space from the secular to the sacred. The second transition happens when one passes through the Porta Mayor at the church facade provided, in this case, by the canvases suspended from the museum ceiling. As we walk into the leftmost gallery behind the three screens, we enter a simulation of a church narthex or vestibule. This space reminds us that vestibules serve a practical purpose in our churches, such as a location where we post church and community information. But the symbolic function of the narthex, also called a Galilee, is to signify the processional starting point of Christ's journey from Galilee to Jerusalem, represented by the church sanctuary. Jerusalem, as we know, is a city where Christ, after his triumphant entry on Palm Sunday, was sentenced to death on the cross. On the eve of his crucifixion, at that moment in human history and in the human life of Jesus, he instituted the Most Holy Eucharist and the New High Priesthood. The photographs featured in this exhibition were taken from the ceiling paintings of churches in Bohol, in the Diocese of Tagbilaran and Diocese of Talibon in 2008 by attorney Paquito Ochoa Jr. along with the Ayala Museum curatorial team before the massive earthquake of 2013 struck the island and damaged several churches. These selected works of art were the early 20th century works of two pioneering Sabuano artists, Raimundo Francia and Canuto Avila. Commissioned by the first Filipino Bishop of Cebu, Monsignor Juan Gorordo. Today, these enduring works of art continue to provide instruction and inspiration of the teachings of the Catholic faith. 
The images of the paintings were produced on seamless silk canvases in the museum exhibition, designed to echo the veil in the Temple of Jerusalem that was torn in half at the moment of Christ's death on the cross, and the seamless garment of Christ for which the soldiers cast lots. The veil of the temple signifies man's direct access to God, while the seamlessness of Christ's passion garment alludes to the priesthood of the crucified one. His high priestly robe was without seam. The colonial churches of Bohol, constructed during the Spanish period, are monumental sites of sacred architecture, landmarks in the island's topography. Each church is situated in the landscape to remind the Boholanos of God's presence among them and his centrality in their individual and communal lives. Built of living stones, these churches function as the Boholanos moral compass. They represent and are the material construct of heaven on earth, while providing pride of place and heritage. If the church is the place of encounter between the eternal and temporal, the Holy Mass is its precise dialogue event. When celebrated with all its solemnity in these churches, heaven becomes present on earth. The Raimundo Francia and Canuta Avila ceiling paintings encapsulate this moment of encounter even as they express visualized hope and convinced testimony of a future. They enable the worshipers to take part in this dialogue event of here and there, now and then, in mortal and immortal states. Humanity and divinity in an eloquent discourse possible only in artistic expression. Thus, the main exhibition gallery was designed to recreate the sacred space of a church and the liturgical environment where Holy Mass is celebrated. The sanctuary of the main exhibition space also mimics the parallel of this world, Earth, and the other world, Heaven. The main exhibition space is a perfect square, recalling the numeric sign of the world assigned with a number four to represent its four corners. It means, therefore, that this space encompasses everything contained in this world, but at the same time parallels the other world, although intertwined with it in such a mysterious manner, especially when Holy Mass is celebrated. In the actual celebration of the Most Holy Eucharist, then, Heaven, or God's kingdom, is manifested and makes its epiphany time and again. It is at Holy Mass, the marriage feast of the slain Lamb of God, celebrated in the sacred place that is a church, the template of heaven. When heaven itself is unveiled, where and when the risen Christ, in his mortal but glorified and transformed body, becomes present in the sacramental form of bread and wine. In this cosmic and stirring rendition of heaven, the Francia Avila Kisame paintings visualize in vivid colors the realm of man's final destiny. To share in the divinity of the triune God, the paintings depict the saints who preceded us in the faith, the four evangelists who authored the Gospels, and the triads of angels who ministered to God, man, and the entire cosmic order. They also show the sacrificed Lamb of God, the stylized icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the set of invocations found in the Litany of Loreto. In other words, 
the paintings executed by Francia and Avila are the articles and symbols of faith in images. At the middle of this exhibition space is a perfect square mirror under the centerpiece of the exhibition. The most holy trinity and all the heavenly retinue in all their complementing roles. It is circumscribed by the octagon, the geometric figure that symbolizes the plenitude of perfection. This geometric figure and the images it contains are positioned to refract onto the perfect squared floor where cutouts of Father Manuel Blanco's 19th century floral illustrations suggest that heaven is the paradise or garden of God. But this installation also pinpoints to a figure of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who by divine design is the perfect concluded garden on which is sown the seed of God, his only begotten son, Jesus. It is for this very reason why she is the Immaculate Conception. As with all the other elements in this exhibition, these significations and symbolisms are intended to bring out the core message and theme of this project. Moreover, they serve to underline and emphasize the importance of rationalizing the sacred space and revivifying the liturgical environment, reclaiming once again our notion of sacred cosmic time and space, that sacred architecture and the sacred liturgy embody and make present. If a meditating viewer after experiencing the Kisame paintings exhibition, will exclaim that he or she now comprehends the transcendent purpose of the images, as well as the objective motives for their scientific conservation, or that this experience has rekindled his or her faith, then this exhibition has attained its purpose. <laughs>